We all understand that the government has a very important inflation target. So if inflation is going out of control, what policies do the government have to actually reduce inflation? Well, first of all, it needs to know what type of inflation is being caused, what type of inflation is going out of control. Is it demand pull or is it cost push? Then it can act. If it's demand pull, basically there is too much aggregate demand in the economy. So the government needs to find a way to reduce the level of aggregate demand. The easiest way to do it is to use contractionary policies, contractionary monetary or contractionary fiscal policies. Contractionary fiscal policies involves either increasing taxation or reducing government spending. Contractionary monetary policy involves increasing interest rates, maybe. Uh, it might be reducing the money supply or making the exchange rate stronger, all of which will reduce aggregate demand. And that will bring down the level of demand for inflation. But there are some severe problems with that. Yes, it might actually promote low inflation, but there are conflicts with other macro objectives. By reducing aggregate demand, growth in the economy will fall. Unemployment will increase, which are all against the other macroeconomic objectives of government. At the same time, whether these policies will work depends on um, the initial level of economic activity. It depends on the size of the multiplier, as we've talked before. It depends on whether it might be offset by other factors, um, etc. So all the same depends on points that we've used many times before with these kind of policies applied again. Depends on the level of confidence, consumer confidence as well. But what if there is cost push inflation? Inflation caused by the supply side of the economy, very simply, when there is an increase in the costs of production. Well, if that's what's causing inflation, then the government needs to find a way to reduce costs of production, if it can do. So, let's say that it was a, a massive increase in wages that has increased cost push inflation, in which case the government maybe could restrict wage rises. That's one way it can keep a lid on the increase in cost of production. But the problem with that is that it might lead to an inflexible labour market. If you don't actually allow wages to increase, if people are doing a good job, then you might actually negate how hard workers work. Workers might you know, be fed up, they might not want to be productive and work hard. So the market, labour market might be very inflexible. It might be hard to recruit the best staff as well. If you can't um, make your position lucrative by offering higher wages, etc. Uh, you might Look at it another way, you might decide to reduce corporation tax, which again reduces the cost of production for firms. Um, and that's got the added benefit of increasing investment, but you've got your standard supply side issues with that policy. And also the problems that we talked about with fiscal policy apply here. You can subsidise firms, just give out subsidies for whatever reason it might be, to promote R&D, for whatever reasons really. You give out subsidies, that lowers the cost of production for firms. But it might promote inefficiency. If firms just now get subsidies, it might reduce incentives for them to cut waste because they can rely on the subsidy uh, to actually get them through. So it might promote inefficiency and that's not good either. At the same time, it's very, very costly, it's not guaranteed to work, etc. All these kind of similar issues as we talked about before. Or, um, if they're looking to control inflation in the long term, not just in the short term, the government could uh, uh, promote supply side policies and use those to control inflation in the long term. But, your standard supply side policies problems apply here. So any supply side policies could be used, you can evaluate whether they're going to work or not in the same way as normal. They're very expensive, they carry very large opportunity costs, they take a long time to work, they may not actually work, and it depends on the initial level of economic activity as well, as to whether they're going to reduce inflation or not. So that's uh, how the government can reduce inflation. The main evaluation here is it depends on what type. Um, that's important to know then it can target the different policies to be used. Thanks very much, see you next time.